today we're going to be putting together the FET helmet kit. So first of all, open the box to your FET kit. As you can see, all the pieces are pre-cut, ready for you to put together. And in this kit, they're all marked left and right. And you've got some little check marks to help line up the pieces. So the first thing we need to do is pop out all those pieces, which is nice and straightforward. And then separate all the pieces into left and right. As you can see, all the edges that join together are marked. So part B goes to part B, part A goes to part A, and part C goes to part C. These front six parts just need a bevel cut apply into them. So get a sharp knife and an inward cut on that one. So I flipped it over, so I'm doing an outward cut. And the same on the other side. Then on the piece that goes above it, it's just the top edge needs a bevel cut. And the same on that side. And once that's done, it's time to heat form all the pieces. So get your heat gun and just give them all a curve. Once all the pieces are heat formed, then it's time to lay them out left and right. And then take one of the sides and just start joining up all the edges. So as you can see here, I'm figuring out A goes to A, B goes to B, C goes to C, F to F, G to G. I've grouped all the pieces into sections ready for gluing. So I'm going to glue the long pieces together, the two that are on the right of the screen and the three that form the dome at the top. And then once the contact cement has had a few minutes to set up, you can push those parts together and then repeat the process for the other side of the helmet. By the time you've finished gluing the pieces, the first couple of pieces might be ready to uh, glue together. So using the flat of the table, line the markings up and push them together. By using the flat of the table, you get a nice clean edge. Then using the same process, start gluing the other sections so just lining up the check marks, making sure it's well pressed together. And once you've done the right hand side, do the same for the left. Now apply contact cement to the edges of the three pieces that you've got after you've put those together and let that set up for a couple of minutes. Make sure you're applying it to the right edges. Just keep referring back to the, the markings on the helmet. Once the contact cement has had a few minutes to cure, use the same method of using the flat of the table and push the pieces together joining the very back part. So that's the left and the right joining together. Just repeat the process of using contact cement, the edge of the table to make sure that it's nice and flat. Even on those curved edges, you can use the flat of the table to make sure that the outer edge is nice and flush. And that's the very top of the helmet altogether. Now using the center point of 
the dome and the center point of the side pieces just line it up and use the table to help connect those together now we're going to be putting the front of the helmet together and these three pieces go like this the beveled edges that you've cut will help give it its shape for these parts you can't use the flat of the table because it's a curved edge um, so you just have to line up the outer edge by eye and then do the same for the thinner top piece so just line your very bottom edge up and lightly tack it just where it touches and then once it's all tacked down then push it together and it will give it that nice angled look to help hold its shape just while I'm filling and adding the other details I've applied two small scrap pieces of foam um, just to hold the visor together parallel and then once that's done that's the base of the helmet there are lots of extra parts in the kit so you, there's a strip for over the top if you want to make it more of a mando helmet there's a few strips to go around the edge if you wanted more of a boba fett look there's extras for the sides and also some emblems and the back grill so you really can make it your own helmet Thanks for watching, please like, comment, subscribe and if you'd like the FET kit you can find it on our website.